Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. I'm here to celebrate a birthday. Concordia University Chicago, which many of us grew up knowing as Concordia River Forest, is 150 years old this year. And wow, what a blessing this school has been for us. How many thousands of teachers and church workers have gone through there and many other young people have graduated and serve the world and the church in all kinds of different capacities. Two majors that I had at Concordia Chicago were theology and communications. And I never ever thought that those things would actually come together um, into a lifelong career for me. But what ended up happening is that those two majors, uh, theology and communications, have worked in just near perfect harmony for me. Concordia Chicago prepared me as a director of parish music in several ways. First, the classes that I took, both music, theology, and the general education classes. Concordia University really was instrumental in forming and shaping me uh, as a deaconess. Uh, from the theological classes to even the liberal arts kind of courses that I had. I remember very vividly my uh, literature classes and history courses. Uh, and specifically, the deaconess program, uh, deaconess formation courses that uh, taught us everything from how to be at the bedside of a dying person to counseling someone whose life is unraveling uh, to how we work side by side uh, and under the leadership of a pastor. I was actually homeschooled through high school. So Concordia Chicago was actually my first classroom experience. So it was a little bit of a transition at first, but the faculty and staff at Concordia Chicago really helped me and the transition was pretty smooth. Um, they made me feel comfortable, they made me feel welcome, and I was able to just blend right in. I would absolutely recommend uh, future students to consider uh, Concordia Chicago as an option. You really just can't put a price on it. It's such a great Lutheran education and it gives you the foundation that you need to go out into the world and uh, really serve God's people. Now I'm a grandmother and um, I'm sending my youngest off to college. And I think more than ever, uh, parents need to think about where they're sending their kids to school and what kind of shaping that is going to be for their children. Uh, are they going to be in the middle of a big secular university where Christianity is despised and hated? Or are they going to be in a place where um, Christ is at the center and, and through the lens of the Christian faith, all the other subjects are taught and, and they're held together in Christ? I think that's a question we parents have to wrestle with as we send our children to schools, as we guide them in their career choices. Not everyone needs to be a church worker, but um, all of us baptized into Christ need um, need to know how that faith that we were given um, can be expressed in whatever vocation God calls us to. You know, the university recently went through the process of obtaining a new president. And Rear Admiral Dr. Dan Gard is now the president. In that process, I noted some of the studies that were done internally said that the alumni and the students on campus wanted stronger Lutheran identity. Believe me, the board has heard that. Dr. Gard has heard that. And you can be looking forward to strong and good things at Concordia University of Chicago with regard to its relationship to the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, even as it fulfills its mission to serve many and beyond us. So, help support the school, will you, at this moment? And you'll find out what the latest and greatest things are that are happening at the university and you'll also have an opportunity there to give. I want you to know especially that the dollars that you give through this effort will be for church work students. So thank you very much and join us all in praying for the future benefit and blessing of this wonderful institution and also join us in thanking God for 150 blessed years. Thank you.